Welcome to the Florida Reporter. You know, folks, the past few days, I've had an active, activated Razer, Motorola Razer, beautiful new phone. Um, if you've been enjoying my Razer videos or if you enjoy any of my other videos, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button down there, if you can. Let me take this call. Can I call you right back? Okay, bye. Anyways, that's how you take a call on the Razer. So, uh, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, I think, to get notified when I post new videos because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos on the Razer and other phones as well. That's kind of what I enjoy doing. So if you enjoy my reviews on the Razer, subscribe. That means you'll enjoy future reviews. Okay, so in this video, we're going to address some of the top concerns of the Motorola Razer. Okay, there's a few of them that, that are all over the place. I am going to demonstrate to you why most of those criticisms are false. Let's start with the hinge. Does it make a sound? Let's find out. You be the judge. Does it make a noise? Yes, it makes a noise when you open it and when you close it. Those are the gears in the hinge, the metal plates. You should have seen this or known about this from some of the early review units that were out when some of the people that have millions and millions and millions, in some in one case, I think 18 million subscribers, they've mentioned the fact that you can actually hear those gears working. That's what that noise is. The phone's not gonna break. The screen's not gonna crack. There's nothing wrong with the internal components of it. It's just the hinge. That's the way it's constructed and built. I actually like it because you can feel you can feel the, the, the hinges working when you open it and feel it when you close it. It almost gives you a sense of security when you open and close it. So when you get your phone, or if you haven't or you're worried about it, don't be worried about it. It's the hinge, the gears in the hinge. Okay, so forget about that one. Number two, I hear, oh, it's fragile. It's delicate. People, I guess, in Verizon stores are afraid to hold it. This is a phone that has a stainless steel frame, okay? And look at me open and close it. I'm not having any problems. It's not falling apart. It's a well-made, solid phone. So if you think this thing is too fragile to use, don't buy it. Just don't. Go to the store, judge for yourself, where you can watch my videos to see how I treat it. I mean, look, I'm throwing it around here. Nothing's happened. I open this thing with force and I close it with force. Nothing's happening. Nothing. Nothing's going to happen. They spent over two years engineer engineering this thing. I highly doubt anything bad is going to happen in this one. By the way, I love how I'm holding it and talking at the same time. If you like to use your hands, you are going to love this phone because you can do this. You can do this, right? You can also do this if you want it. If you really want it to, why is it not working? I have it shut off. There's lots of things to enjoy about this phone. Look, someone said, oh, I can't use it when, when it's raining, pouring down rain. I don't like to use any cell phone when it's pouring down rain. I don't know about you, but I'm, I just don't like doing it. This one is water resistant and you can't like throw it in your toilet, but it's not gonna hurt. So I think that is another criticism that's invalid, okay? It's not fragile. And I love the damn thing. All right, number three. It's a bad, it's a bad, it has a horrible camera. It's 16 megapixel and the, the camera's horrible. The, the interface is horrible, blah, 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 blah. As I've said in other reviews, I am not a professional photographer. It takes good enough pictures. And once again, take a look for yourself. Here's some pictures that I took while using the razor.
Are those the best pictures in the world? No, they're not. Some of them actually look pretty nice. A couple of those were in night mode, but it takes good enough pictures for you. If you, if you want something to take phenomenal pictures in, go buy a, a $5,000 professional camera. I don't even know the best cameras that are out there, but I don't know, just go Google professional uh, camera. And I don't think that the iPhone 11 Pro is gonna pop up. There are all different types of cameras that are way better than 11 Pro. But if you wanna take pictures, um, like a normal person that you can post on Instagram, you can post on Facebook, this thing is just fine. Okay, it's just fine. So the camera, doesn't matter to me. I love it. Okay, one other thing people have been talking about is the screen itself. They're saying that it's lumpy, that it gets lumps and bumps. And as you can see, I don't see any lumps or bumps here, okay? And I will admit, that when you go up and down, you can feel the, you know, you can actually feel the, um, the crease, okay? But when the phone is on, you can't see it. I, I have played around with a Galaxy Fold and when it's on, you can clearly see the, the creases. And this one, do you see any creases here? Do you see any here? Look. I don't see any creases. And I know it's plastic, but who the heck cares that it's plastic? So this is what it looks like when it's in um, when you when it's in landscape, right? And it just looks brilliant on the screen. You can see how that looks there, and everything looks looks brilliant on it. And that's why I love the the aspect ratio of this phone. Uh, so I also love how you can just shut the phone when you close the phone. Everything just freaking shuts off. I love that. I don't have to worry about shutting anything down. Um, so anyway, um, there is one big complaint I have on this phone, and that's the fact that it's the speaker. The speaker, because it's not stereo, it's not super, super loud. Sometimes I do struggle to hear notifications if I have a muffled, if I have, the, if I have the, the grill buried in my hand like this, but can you do this with your phone? I don't think you can. Anyway, Florida Reporter, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please subscribe support me, and I will continue to make these real reviews. No fancy graphics, no fancy intro, just me talking to you, human to human, about how you feel about different phones. So please subscribe, have a great day, and I hope you continue to watch The Florida Reporter. Thank you.